Okay, hey y'all, so it's me, Alexandra, and today I am back with another video, and, t oh my gosh, it's freezing, like, whoo, girl, this room is in on 80, and I'm freezing, like, I thought I could do this video without wearing a jacket, but I can't, I can't, it's too cold. Okay, it feels so much better. Today's video is going to be a different type of video. I have been seeing this on YouTube recently, I've seen like two people do it, and I thought it was kind of interesting, so I wanted to try it. And I saw Lissetti XO do this, and I saw Casey Leah do this. And that is mixing my natural hair products together and applying them to my hair. So I'm gonna be mixing all of my cream stylers and gels. So basically, all of like my twisting creams, all of my curl defining creams, all of my gels, all of my styling products together. And I wanted to do a twist out. So I have here a spoon in a bowl. I feel like the worst thing that could happen is like my hair could flake but that's never happened to me like I've never actually had a product flake besides aloe vera gel I've never had an actual product flake so I don't even know what that feels like so the first one that I had just literally just have here on my counter is the Sultanicals Afro Gelato Coil Enhancing Plant Gel so I'm gonna do about that much I think for the squirt ones, I'm gonna just squirt them in here because it's kind of hard to take this off. Then I have to wipe it down so that you know I'm not cross contaminating and all day. And this is the Meal Organics Honey and Ginger Styling Gel. I'm gonna do three squirts of this one, two, three. Let's do one more. Four. I'm gonna do one more squirt of this one since some of them I wiped off on the spoon, anyways. So that's one more of that. The Shea Moisture Satcha Inchi Oil Omega 369 Rescue and Repair Curl Defining Smoothie. I've actually never, I've actually never used this, um, so this will be my first time using it. Oh my gosh, it smells so good! It smells so good. I'm going to take this much. Let's see what I have here. Ooh, I have the As I Am Curling Jelly. I've never used this also, so this will be my first time using it. I've been wanting to try it. I just, I want. I've been wanting to use this for a twist out. I just haven't had the time, not the time. I just haven't gone around to it. I don't know. Ooh, ooh, this is a nice consistency. Oh shoot, I think that was. That's enough. All right, I'm trying to do equals like portions. It's pretty equal as 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 much as it can get. Ooh, I have the As I Am Twist Defining Cream. I've also never used this one either. I've been wanting to use it for a twist out, of course, and I just haven't gotten around to it. All right, so I'm going to use... Did I even open the packaging? It seems like a thick product. Oh my gosh, I want to try this for a twist out so bad. All right. This is disgusting. All right, one more use of that. So, I have, okay, the, the uh, packaging ripped off, but this is the Gazy Body Essentials Kubawasu Curling Custard. All right, here's one. I have the Tea Roots Butter Curls Curl Defining Cream. Oh my gosh, I love this stuff, guys. This stuff is so bomb, but this stuff is so expensive. This, this eight ounce jar is, $18 and then you got to pay like $5 for shipping because this is a small business so they don't sell in stores they really only sell online in like or in like small little shops I'm using about this much of that this is the Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Moisturizing Twist and Lock Gel it smells, it smells so good uh, I'm gonna put this much Ew. okay I think that's all of my Hair products I mixed one two three four five six seven eight I mixed eight products okay right off the bat I can say this is not mixing correctly like this is so nasty it's like chunky and I don't think I put enough product so I'm gonna have to do another round and I'm gonna put more because this this is literally it's about one spoonful, so that's not going to color this whole head. Um, I just didn't want to have any wasteful, like any leftover, so I was trying not to put too much. 
but I'm gonna go again and put all the products in again to double this amount because this is not enough. So I have everything all mixed together and it doesn't look great at all. It looks actually very disgusting and it's like, I don't know, this is, it smells like, it actually kind of smells good but it doesn't, it actually kind of smells good. The smells really mixed together. It doesn't stink or anything. I can smell little bits of all of the product but it doesn't smell bad together. I can't really pinpoint what it smells like all together but like the more I smell it, the more I can smell the different products in it. Uh, I think this is enough to finish my whole head. Um, so right now, obviously, I'm going to go actually co-wash my hair because I just uh, shampooed my hair like three days ago. So I don't want to shampoo again. So I'm going to co-wash and I'm going to use my Old Faithful. Not my Old Faithful. I just recently got into this. I'm going to use one of my faves. I'm going to use the As I Am Coconut Co-Wash to co-wash my hair. And then I'm going to condition it with African Black Soap Balancing Conditioner um as my rinse out after i co-wash and as my leave-in this my favorite the meal organics avocado moisturizing avocado hair mark so i'm gonna so as my so after i co-wash and condition i'm gonna come out and use this as my leave-in conditioner i'm going to use this concoction as my styler to do my actual twist okay so i just got out of the shower and finished washing my hair so now it's time to actually do my hair gosh my hair feels so soft this is gonna be like the average size of my section it's like yeah so i like to put a plastic bag over the section that i'm not dealing with so that it doesn't try out as i'm doing this and i'm about using about this much of the hair milk and just I rarely do this, but I feel like it's necessary today. I'm gonna use a wide tooth comb to just detangle my hair before I actually twist it, because I feel like there's a lot of knots. Okay, so now my hair has leave-in conditioner and is detangled, and now it's time to actually use this nasty thing that we're gonna call our styler today. This thing, is, this thing looks like grits. Like, I'm gonna use about this much, and I'm applying a little bit more it actually when I'm applying it's going on really smooth like it's there's some parts of it that's actually no it's at first it was like had chunks in my hair but then I'm as I'm smoothing it it's really smoothing out those chunks so it's actually like going on pretty smoothly so apply a little bit more to my ends And then twist. There you go. Yeah, guys, it's going on like really smooth, and it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel out of the. It looks out of the usual, but when I apply it to my hair, it feels like a regular cream styler. Like it feels like a cream gel. Like that, that's what it feels like. Like some type of combination between a cream gel. look really good my twists look really good guys like these look really good I'm shocked okay so I'm gonna come back when all of my twists are done because I don't think you guys need to see me twist my hair anymore so I'm just really shocked at how good these twists look okay so all of my hair is completely twisted I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like 
These are the best looking twist that I've had in a while. They look really good and I feel like this twist out is going to be really good. Okay, so it's the next morning and um, the back of my twists are dry. The front of them are kind of like some of them are very lightly damp, but whatever. So I'm going to take some oil just so that it can help with frizz. And also my hands are ashy. <laughs> so. I'm gonna try to take my time to unravel these twists. Okay guys, as you guys can see, okay, because I, I kind of was a little rough handed here, but for the most part, like, there's, look at this definition. Like, this is actually going to be a really good <clears throat> twist out and I'm really surprised like look at this oh my goodness so my hair is all um, unraveled now I'm going to actually go in and separate and before I unravel just look at this definition already because I'm probably gonna mess it up knowing me I'm just gonna go in and kind of see where they naturally want to separate um one thing i'm noticing is that i can tell it seems like i just used a lot of product because as i separate it's like dust is coming out if that makes sense like it's like i know my hair is going to attract dust because there's so much product in it and as i'm unraveling i can kind of see some of the product on my hair strands yeah so it just seems like there's a lot of product Hair's all separated now. And it kind of feels gross, like exactly what I thought it was. I know, I think I know the product that's making my hair feel gross, but I mean, it's also a mixture of products in here. So my hair feels kind of, it doesn't feel great. <laughs> kind of feels like I use a lot of product. But there is some definition. I mean, there's frizz. I mean, uh, I don't think I've ever been able to get a twist out with absolutely no frizz. I'm not sure how I want to style it yet, but that's what I look. Okay, so now I'm finished my hair is styled. I decided to put it up in a puff just because it seemed like it was a good twist out for a puff because it had a lot of frizz and it had a lot of fullness. So I felt like this would be the perfect puff. Um, but all in all, I feel like this twist out didn't completely fail because in certain parts, there's like really good definition. And then of course, in certain parts, there's a lot of frizz. I've definitely seen better twist outs. So this is like on a scale of one to 10, like I would say this is like a six and a half, maybe to a seven, maybe. Um, I think this had a lot of potential. I just, I don't know. It wasn't the perfect twist out. Of course, there was again, frizz but there was also definition so this it just feels gross and i think it's just certain products just doesn't mix and it makes it feel disgusting um but you know this is it's not that bad i definitely would not do it again <laughs> this was fun to just see how it would look in my hair and i can still rock this twist out for a couple days in this puff and um just gotta i think as the days goes on it'll get bigger and look nice so this was like a perfect twist out for a puff but I wouldn't say this is a perfect twist out to wear as an actual like down um unless you just want like your twist outs to be a little frizzy um but um yeah but I just know that it'll collect dust like I feel like my hair is gonna get dirty very quickly because it's so like sticky feeling that it's gonna attract dust and stuff like that so but I'm gonna wash my hair in like two days two three days so it doesn't even matter but that is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I will see you guys in my next video.